I have this supper, ooh, maybe once a week. It's a tomato soup, very easy. I'm gonna do a grilled panini with a bit of prosciutto, caramelized onions, provolone. Let's crack on. So I'll need some good veggies. Just a very simple soup. I'm gonna put some carrots, celery, and onion, mirepoix. So slice your carrots thinly. And then slice your celery. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put it through a blender. What I find funny is, I get comments saying, Steve, why don't you say tomato? You know, you're English, you know. I work with American chefs every day. So the lingo sort of sticks with you, you know. And I've been in this country for 10 years, 10 years. Wow. Tomato. I'm gonna to do a tomato soup. And you want some thinly sliced garlic and some sliced shallot. Now put all that goodness in a bowl and we're gonna sweat it off nice and slow. <clears throat> Okay, so first we need some olive oil. So add all the ingredients in. Okay. And the secret to this soup is just to sweat it on a nice low heat. Get all them flavors out. What I do need is a uh, pinch of salt. And ground black pepper. And at this stage, you can really boost up some flavors like some fennel seed and oregano. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some oregano in there. Just like a little bit. And now you wanna sweat all this off until it's nice and soft. And when your veg is soft, add your tomatoes, not your tomatoes. Get them in. And at the end, some stock. Now you wanna bring this up to a boil and then simmer for 20 minutes. It smells amazing. Mmm. So I'll need my blender. Look at the color of that, absolutely gorgeous. So add it back to the same pan. It doesn't need any cream, doesn't need anything like that. I've got this from the garden, it's called boxwood basil. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's my favorite of the basil family. It's very sweet, very strong, great for garnish, great for salads. It smells fantastic. Great for pestos too. So let's get that in. Mm. So just pick the leaves and get them all in there. Now you've seasoned that to where you want it. Give it a good stir and then bring it up to a light simmer. Then put to one side. Okay, now for the panini. So first, we're gonna make some quick caramelized onions. Now just give that a good stir. It shouldn't take long to cook. Look at that, it's getting nice and brown. Beautiful. Okay, they should be good. So add these little beauties to a bowl. Mmm. And this, is gonna make the panini taste absolutely fantastic. Prosciutto, dry cured ham. Look at that beauty. Gorgeous. So slice it. Mmm. And the star of the show is some good quality bread. So let's slice it. So slice it in half. Dijon mustard. Just gives it an extra tang. Just like a little bit. Just spread it on there. Nice.
give this a slice. Look at that. Okay, so let's grab a bowl. And just get that gorgeous tomato soup. Get it in the bowl. Look at that. And then some nice Parmesan cheese, just over the top. I'm just gonna dunk it in this soup. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Let's have a taste of this soup. Mm. So simple. Mm. Now that is a supper. Simple ingredients, done well. I love the tang of the mustard and the caramelized onions. That really works. And of course the meat is fantastic. Give it a go. Thanks guys.